Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. And today I am with Stephen McDaniel, our DeMonte Ranch expert. How have you been, Stephen? Fantastic, Philip. Since we saw each other Thanksgiving Day, went for a glorious walk around the DeMonte wetlands. It's so pretty. You can see that everything's changed over. A little dust on the mountains already, and it was a crystal clear day. It was gorgeous. And with winter coming, something really big is coming to Damani Ranch. There is. Um, we're really excited because we have a business in the area that's opening up. It's called The Loop, and it's at the corner of South Meadows and D Double Diamond. They're opening up Zeppelin's, which is going to be the first of several restaurants in the in the development there. This is going to be an over 21 establishment with an executive chef that's going to be pairing wonderful foods and specialty drinks. We're looking forward to having something like that in the community. Absolutely, I can't wait to go check it out. Well, before the loop opens, let's take a look at what is happening in the DeMonte Ranch real estate market. And for that, let's go dive inside Market Insights. Stephen, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the median sold price for DeMonte Ranch, down a little bit from September, but since last year, how's it trending? We're doing really well. 422000 is our median price. We're down only just under 2% from the prior month, and we're up 11% for the prior year. As you can see, Philip, the home values are still trending upward. As we look at the units sold for October, 63 units, which is quite a bit more than what we saw in September, but another unique story behind that number. Well, we said we had 63 units sold, and that's up 40% from the prior month. But when we look at the numbers, we found that almost 25% of that 63 were condominiums. As soon as they went on the market, they were sold. And we talked about that in our September report of, oh my, there's a glut of new condos on the market, and now they're gone. Exactly. Stephen, one of our favorite indicators of the health of the market is the percent of asked received. It also tells us that uh, as realtors, we're doing our job uh, evaluating the properties, right? And we're sitting at 98% after October. Just still strong going into the fourth quarter that we're having right now. This is the holiday season begin, and traditionally, you're going to see a dip, but we're not seeing that dip really at all. It's still very strong. Stephen, normally we don't talk about the actual inventory numbers, but when you see a jump of 100% from the prior year, that's a bit striking. We drilled in. What happened? It's very interesting, Philip. What we noticed was that there was almost 50 of this 183 came from condominiums and townhomes. This is a direct result of the contractors and developers working so hard all summer to get these prepared for sale, and they all hit the market at the same time, so hopefully they can move them before we get into fourth quarter. And there's still another glut of sellers on the market. And these people, a lot of times, that's why it's so important to work with a professional. They're going to help you evaluate the property correctly. And when you do a correct valuation of the property, you're going to sell in a normal time frame. And these people sort of missed the ball. People try to cash in on the higher median home prices, and they, they missed the boat. They missed the boat. So there you have it. That is your look at the October activity for the DeMonte Ranch area. Stephen, we've already talked about Thanksgiving. What's going to be happening in DeMonte Ranch during Christmas and New Year's? We have a lot of fun things coming on. The first one we've got is DeMonte Ranch Park is doing the third annual Circle of Lights. It's December 15th at about 5.15 p.m. It's put on by the Sierra Club. Uh, what it is is all around the wetland area, everybody puts lights and decorations in the backyard, and they're going to get voted on. And it's just a great community effort. The other thing that we have going on is the Reno Fire Department Children's Christmas Party is coming up on Sunday, December 16th. It's from 12 to 3 at the Reno Ballroom. They're asking for donations of gently used toys and clothing for children between the ages of 6 and 12. You can drop these donations off at any fire station or at the fourth floor at City Hall. Along with the fire department is something that's really special. It's the Sam Sabini Christmas Basket Program. This was started in 1932 right here in Reno. They collect money on all the fire stations through December 14th. The money buys food that will be delivered in baskets to the less fortunate in town on December 15th. Again, the display of community service by these gentlemen that we're working with at the fire department just blew my mind. They were so excited to tell me about all these things that were going on, and I'm just really happy to be able to share that with the community. It takes a village. It truly does. 
So if you're able to contribute and assist Stephen McDaniel and the Reno Fire Department with their efforts, you can contact Stephen at the information you see on your screen now. If you're ready to go look at or buy any of those condos that are on the market in Demonte Ranch, you definitely need to contact Stephen at the info you see on the screen now. For Stephen McDaniel, for the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group on Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you next time.